I always love technology that doesn't just borrow from nature, it plagiarizes. A new area of computer science involves borrowing the immune system of our own bodies and applying that into cybersecurity. Of course, this could easily be applied to actual security. We could model the immune system. That requires multi-robot cooperation, just like our own bodies require multi-cell. We are multi-cell critters, but we're essentially a conglomerate made of millions of individuals. You're essentially a community of organisms, all coming together for you. At least the concept that you think of as you. In order to make an artificial immune system work for cybersecurity, it would need to figure out what self looks like versus non-self. So if another piece of code that's aberrant or perhaps malicious comes in, it can identify and destroy it. They could even use randomized data generators. That's kind of how our body works, as inefficient as that may seem. Yeah, we do look for stuff we've seen before, but in order to get a hold of what you see the first time, it's random. A random code that identifies or may identify the correct pathogen. Sometimes that goes very wrong and your body attacks your own body. That's an autoimmune condition and that could actually happen in robotics too. If it gets a hold of the right code and attaches to the right antigen, then it can go and form other robots that that's the one you need to get. Go get them. This model could also be applied with generation and evolution. As long as the body of the code knows what it is, what is self, it can continuously improve. Interestingly, self-generating and self-evolving robots have been implicated in the potential apocalypse. Not getting there. Stephen Hawking, as well as other early programmers, thought that once AI got to the point of being self-perpetuating and self-generating, it would be able to reproduce and evolve faster than humanity would, and it would eventually overtake us. So robot immune system could in part be something that ultimately causes the apocalypse. I mean, I hope so, but we'll see. Also, people are going to comment on that. Why do I hope so? Look, I just want things to get interesting. I also love this graphical abstract because that looks essentially like a Roomba, but that's a design, an idea for how a robot immune system could work. Imagine your Roomba walking around your house and potentially identifying trespassers. But it would go farther than that. They would tell other robots that this is the trespasser you're looking for. Keep an eye out in case they come back. That's essentially what a robotic autoimmune condition for a residence would look like. We are, of course, mostly talking about internal cybersecurity, but yeah, I, I think that would make a nice horror story. Now this is the point that I often harp about, that we tend to go about making things the hard way. We try to model systems that we want, like flight, and then try to put them together. But we have stuff that already exists in nature that we can use. It's why it's been so effective to model spiking patterns in our own brains for AI. Finally, we have something that's capable of operating a soft, fleshy body, which is not surprising because that's what our brains are evolved for. What do you think? Is borrowing an immune system the best way to go about cybersecurity? Or physical security, because I do find that aspect of it interesting.